Hey everybody, this is Gary from GameStorm and was going to show you a tutorial on how to repair your Nintendo 64 joystick. Does your joystick wiggle around like this one does? And like when you're playing games, are you tired of it like hurting your thumb after having to press forward and back and whatever just to get it to go? Well, what you're going to need is one of these things right here. And I'll put the link down below to where we got this. This is a replacement analog stick for your original N64 controller. Okay, so what you're going to need to do is get like a mini screwdriver set or a small Phillips head screwdriver like this. And you're going to loosen all of these screws on the back of your controller. I've already loosened all of these. So just make sure they all come out. Set these aside. Now there are two smaller screws here on the inside, which you're probably gonna need a smaller screwdriver for. See them in there? Okay. These are kind of hard to get to, but these are a different size from the others that we just took out. So we're going to loosen those, we'll make those come out and leave those in a separate pile so you'll know that those are the ones that go by the memory stick. Okay, we're going to turn it over and we're going to take it apart like that. And we're going to take this, this is where the analog sticks plugged into you're going to unplug it just like that. You're going to take the screwdriver and unscrew your analog stick, the original, from the controller here. Just like this. There are three screws holding it in. Okay, you're going to pull that out. You're going to take this is your Z button and you're going to unclip it from your analog stick without breaking those tabs. Okay, set those screws aside there for your new analog stick right here. All right, you're going to take that and screw it in. Make sure it's seated in the controller. All right. If you have a magnetic screwdriver, it's a little easier. And just screw your new controller, your new analog stick in like that. These are very small, so be careful to not lose them. And don't over tighten them either. Take your Z button, clip it back into place, like that. Take your plug. in right here okay and you plug that back in there it's not going to go all the way in there but that's as far as it goes all right and you'll notice that my shoulder buttons fell off well, there you just stick them right back in here like this there's a little hole there Put the peg in. All right. 
and now the controller is ready to be put back together and now you're just going to take your screws and put them all back in but once you get it all together you get this nice new analog stick here okay so we're going to test out the new joystick here so I'm going to come over here and plug it in to the Nintendo 64 turn it on and we're going to test it out on Ocarina time here Everything seems to be working just fine. And it works perfect. It's really easy to press. All of the buttons work still. The bumper still work. So there you go. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. This is Gary with GameStorm signing out.